What is up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Poopa Plow here with Storms and Tree right now. What's up? I'm the Arborist Man. <laughs> uh, so, Tree, we were talking about your Instagram earlier. Is your Instagram public or is it private? Oh, it's public. Like, you wouldn't get mad at me for posting a link to it? Uh, no. Okay, is your real name on there? No. I have, like, my first name and then the initial, but... Okay. I mean... Ooh, that picture that Steffi posted of that sunset, though. Ooh, that's a Ooh, good one. Gonna make me look now. Uh, I know. Now I'm gonna have to grab my phone. <sighs> Sorry. That's why oh, not. I have my charger and my phone in order to reach. Alright, so here is Tree Cutter's Instagram. Uh... I l really enjoyed that video that you made earlier <laughs> of uh, getting ready for the for the hurricane. Yeah, I thought it was really funny. So guys, go give yeah. Trey a follow. It's funny. Technically, it's a tropical storm. It we could just... be a hurricane again before yeah. it gets there. So we're just gonna call it a hurricane. Here I am. Ooh, that sunset. Right in my... I know, right? It kind of looks like a plane. <laughs> Steffi, are you cool if I post a link to yours as well? I'll just post all the Instagrams tonight. I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. Or if you're cool with it, I guess you can post it too. Alright. One Lonely Farmer's out bailing hate, looks like, tonight. He uh, posted on the Instagram as well. Bailing before the storm. Wow. There is Steffi's. Storms, have you posted anything gross lately? <laughs> no. He did cut himself on a nail today. <gasps> Storms. Yeah, I've determined apparently I can't work in my shop without at least inflicting some sort of pain upon myself. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, I'll it post hurt them. like a uh, paper cut does. Oh, those are the words. You know how those just sting? Yep. Oh, that's all those ones do. just sting. And I, was just like, I ended up scraping my knuckle across the nail. Oh, God. I was working on uh, taking all the nails and screws out of the lumber I got from my brother's house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because hopefully next week I'll actually start building my desk. Nice. So I'll start filming all that and... Uh, Storm Two characters gets posted. Here. What? I don't care, go ahead. Alright. Uh, if we have any free people in the game, feel free to grab a fertilizer. And get running with that. Fertilizer, get it running. Please and thank you all. Thank you very much. Let's get it rocky, guys. Get it rocking. There's all kinds of Instagrams. Go follow them. Go like them. Go go all that stuff. Go ham on them. What? What? Go ham? I, I, I don't know. Oh, and there's mine. Thanks, Sean. Go check out the Poopa Plow Instagram as well. It's pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. I don't post as much as I was when I first took it over, but I, I'm still having, having uh, a lot of fun posting on there, so... Yeah, I'd definitely be like, uh, who's that, um, person who does, like, the weather things, and he's like, get your snow shovels ready, Oh, get your salt ready. <laughs> Frankie McDonald, I want to say? I guess, like, oh. if I was down the shore, I'd be like, get ready, there's gonna be some big waves. <laughs> His videos are so good. <laughs> I didn't know that you've ever seen those. Uh, no, I remember you showed me one video of St. Louis at one time. Get your Pepsi, your Sprite, and your water. It's like, dude, it's three snowflakes. It's okay. Get your snow pants ready. And then he types out everything that he said and he puts it in the description of the video. Oh my god. 
It's so great. Sean, feel free to post a link to yours if you want. You're good. To your Instagram. If you'd like. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But yeah, he, uh, it's... God, his videos are so funny. Mm-hmm. So, can we cut down all these trees, by the way? Uh, I know a guy. He's, uh, using a frame in litter. I hear. <laughs> I know a guy who doesn't have gold edition on Xbox One, apparently. <laughs> tree. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up, tree cutter 99. No? Okay. I think it's funny how one moving from a post failing before the storm when it's not even gonna like rain here in Northern New Jersey. Where I'm at, anyways. Yeah, it's gonna rain for him, though, isn't it? No, he's west of me. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's up in the, like, Pennsylvania, New Jersey state line. But, you know, you just don't know. Yeah. yeah so, point. you might as well. Yep. Well, it's like the other day. Walked outside earlier in the day, just look at the clouds, and they're going from west to east. Yeah. Come back out two hours later, clouds are going from east to west. It's like, uh... <laughs> Make up yo mind. What? They were moving like. Which way were they moving today? They were moving like north. I was like, whoa. It was kind of kind of different here today. When I was out there cutting my grass, I cut all of the pieces of grass in my yard today. Actually, that's oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lie. I didn't. I didn't cut my front yard, <laughs> like the front section, because it's has those trees that there's an undetermined number of trees in my front yard because apparently that can be used as ammunition to find me stuffy thank you um <laughs> she already um, found you so what does it matter now well she's like you you shouldn't say how many trees are in your yard people are gonna find you I'm like oh uh, uh, i didn't know that like could like count at some people are a creepy tree just go with it um, Steffi's, <laughs> Steffi's not creepy, but there Let's are creepy for. people on the internet. Uh, that text guy, am I right? Oh, that text guy, he's the worst. <laughs> hey, that text guy is our top donator right now on Extra Life, so he he's the bee's knees. If he finds me, that's cool. It's all good. Sorry, Steffi. <laughs> no, Tex is awesome. Steffi's awesome. Good people. Good people. But, um... With those trees in my yard, it just soaks up all the moisture in my yard. And, uh, yeah, my yard dries out real fast. Yeah. So, I actually ran my sprinkler, uh, the other day for, like, hours out there. I ran my... I haven't ran my... Yeah, what? I can't remember the last time I ran my sprinkler. Really? Is it been like, raining, or is it just dead? Well, I mean, it's not dead, it's, like, green, but, like... It's, um, uh, yep. it's not, it's not dying, but it's not, like, great either, and I just, like, it's on and off here and there. Like, we seem to get a thunderstorm, like, every, every, at least three times a week now. Okay. Because every single mo time I'm on one now, there's always opening something wrong. Yeah, it's... It really agitates me. Because uh, then you can't, because uh -huh. then you have the scraps left behind, it's just... I will say, there's a few trees in the area already that are turning. Oh my god. And go going, your mouth. going back to Bill's T-Max earlier, uh, he was showing some trees in the cemetery there that have started to turn. And it's like, oh my god, it's way too early for this. So, I'm not ready for that yet. For my location, they uh, updated the uh, um, surf forecast. Okay. Um, 18 to 20 feet. 18 to 20 foot waves? Waves. Sunday Ooh. and Monday. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. you're going out boogie boarding? <laughs> I'm not there right now, but. So you're going I'm... there to go boogie boarding? <laughs> no. I. I wouldn't mess around with That's anything. That's a thrill of, yeah, you would, you would die. Uh, 
Like that's. I not... think I passed around in ten foot waves, but see when it's low tide and you have waves like that. Yeah. Um. Uh, if you catch it wrong, you'll basically just get sucked in, and the waves are just so big that they just overtake you and you just get sucked back down to the sandbar and you go like head first. Ah, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh, and or you, your board hits the bottom in front of your body and then you uh, break your board in half. I unless I, if you have like PVC piping like my friend does who has like four hundred dollar uh, board. He's metal pipes. I. So. I, I, I. Yep. One time when I, I went to the beach. I went to the beach like twice ever in my life. Three times. Yeah. And it was the beach out in Maryland. Not a good beach. It was kind of gross, but... It's a beach. It was a beach. Life's a beach. Yep. And uh, it, it was a beach. So we're like boogie boarding. And yeah, the front of my board caught, but I didn't break it. But instead it dug into like my legs or at about like, you know my waist area let's say the back uh, of the board dug uh, into me and I went over the board ah uh, yeah like the board stood up vertical and I went over it that, that hurt yeah uh -huh. that hurt and then we went back to the beach like a day later or two days later and there was a tropical storm coming up the east coast that day and and the waves were like bigger but you know dumb kid from Missouri who's never been in an ocean with waves before I almost died uh huh <laughs> I, I drank a lot of salt water that day. That shit's nasty. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It, it was pretty bad. But there's, like, yeah, you she... know, experienced 10-year-olds out that were out in the ocean, and they're, like, completely fine. And I'm, like, you know, struggling to stay alive. <laughs> it was yeah. the thing. It was the thing. But, um, uh, they, here they have the uh, lifeguarding training program. Okay. And so you could have, like, 18-year-olds, like, up on the fan, like, watch, like, 17-year-olds, like, watching over you. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I don't really feel that comfortable. <laughs> Be honest. But they're there to save your life, Tree, so. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I was really dumb. I wish I would have been, like, making videos and stuff like that. That was a great trip. We went out to very small town in Maryland called Pocomoke City. It, it was a very, very small town. But, uh, yep, my, I had family out there at the time. I don't anymore. And then we went to, um, uh, was it Sheikatig or something? Island? I think is what it is. Yep. Totally know where that is. You do? Not really. Oh, uh, it's in Maryland. Um, Sheikatigue, and then it was Assateague, I think, was the other one. And it was like these islands where these wild ponies ran wild, because they're wild, get it? Uh, mm -hmm. and, and so you'd just be like walking your car, and there's just like a big pile of pony poo in the parking lot. Oh. It was really strange. Um, <laughs> I'll have to see if I can dig up some pictures, because I know we were taking pictures back then. Uh, we had a the old digital camera uh, back in the day, but uh, it was a lot of fun, man. It was it was a good time. We stayed out there for like a week over Fourth of July weekend or something, yeah. and uh, we went down to Ocean City, Maryland. That was fun. Walked down the boardwalk, got separated from the family. It was before we all had cell phones, so we like got lost from each other, and my dad got really angry, and that was fun. Good memories. Wow. <laughs> good memories, good memories. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun though. A lot of fun. I remember, I think it was two months ago. I want to say. Okay. Um, I think it might have been a tropical entity of some sort. Um, I don't know at this point, but um, I think there were like ten footers. I want to say. Oh wow. And uh. For like past two years, uh, okay. every time I'd like four years straight, every single time I bring my neighbor down, there'd be like massive waves. <laughs> and uh, two years ago, there were like ten footers, and so like uh, we were the only people out there, but like everybody was like watching us and stuff like that. <laughs> 
And so basically you go out and you get like one, you struggle to get out like halfway out, you get like three ways maybe. But you don't ride him in all the way because like you never get back out again. Oh, uh, you ride him Basically for a little you saw your mail. energy getting out there. And uh, I think there was a day that my friend snapped his board, he was boar riding, <laughs> waving, and uh, snapped it. Wow. So basically you uh, paddle up before you go down the wave, you stand on your knees. Um, that sounds you go down the face of the wave. Okay. And, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that whole, like, I don't know, it just seems very dangerous to me. So, uh, but, hey, kid from Missouri here, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> I, the thing that has always frightened me is surfing. The only thing I swim in is like a swimming pool that I can see the bottom, and that's it. I don't, I don't do any of this ocean well, lake crap. No thank you. Uh, I remember, I think it was like eight, but uh, this, there were these two, I think males or females, I forget what. But this one person had gone over the other person's foot with their like, uh, skate, I think it is, like the thing in the back of the surfboard. And, like right. cut the person's leg up with a bad one. Oh god. They had to get like go to the hospital like the patrol was involved. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Oh yeah. And then about eight years ago we had a great white like two beats down. They ordered everyone out of the water. Yeah. And they sent out like three harpoon boats. <laughs> and they had beacons on top of the boats. Wow. Yeah. They're gonna go hunt that bad boy, huh? Yeah, they didn't get it. Soccer. Shoot it away. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, but I, I wish I actually had, like, a good camera, you know? Yeah. With the waves really good and, like, record it. Well, go, go get you. Go get down to Walmart or Best Buy or whatever you got. Go get one. Waves haven't been good, though. Wait, what? Waves haven't been good all season. Oh. Yeah. Been, like, three Well, they're gonna be good this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they actually pulled all the stands off, all the beaches, except for they have one stand on every beach now. Oh, wow. And then, like, they might have two other guards, but they just sit there and, like, pull the lawn chairs, or, they, like, beach chairs. They sit there and text all day. Pretty much. Yeah. Would not surprise me, would not surprise me. Mm -hmm. So, oh, there's somebody coming. Okay, I'll go down. The other way. Yeah. Never really been into surfing. Nancy, hello and welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming out. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing tonight? And Tree says hi as well. Everybody says hi to Nancy. I mean, if you didn't, leave. <laughs> Jokey, don't leave. <laughs> no road marker, John? Uh, I got it out now. I was going a little rogue, you see. Really? <laughs> Gotta go a little rogue sometimes, Tree. It just happens, buddy. You know... What do I know? There's been a lot of World of Warship playing lately. And it has been. If you want to play World of Warships, it's usually always going on in the team speak. Uh, Nubius, Tex, and Staffy, I believe, are playing it right now. Probably. So... Steffi has um, beaten me to level 12. She, she may or may not have a slight or more than slight addiction. <laughs> and she knows I'm just messing with her, so don't, don't, don't um, like freak out on me, guys. At least I hope she does. But, uh, uh, yeah, what's up, Trey? We're, I'm, I don't know about John, but I'm not really in like the tractor world, but he's asking about the new Case IH prototype tractor. Um, I did see a little bit about that, not like too much. Uh, I believe he's talking about the one that is driverless. Ooh. And the thing that I heard about it, and I totally agree, somebody asked How Farms Work about it, Ryan from How Farms Work, and uh, he said it takes the fun out of farming. And I pretty much agree with that. Like, the best part of going to my farm is driving the tractor, so it takes the fun out of it. So, I, I, you know, farmers enjoy driving their tractors. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, say you've been planting for a while, like, 
it might be nice to just like walk away for an hour. Well, it doesn't even have a cab tree. You you can't like ride down it or anything. Ah. Yeah, it's crazy looking actually. So no, I'm thumbs down. I'm I'm not a fan. I mean, eventually everything's gonna be a robot anyway. But uh, I'm I'm not a fan of it. So. I mean, driving tractors has gotten easier uh, these days due to GPS yeah. and the fact that, you know, you just kind of sit in there and push buttons occasionally. Um, but that is uh, not all, so. Well, potatoes, I think John, uh, might think about that if the case quad track had a uh, front and loader, you might I, think about selling it, but probably I not at the same time. probably never buy a case quad track. I would not need it. <laughs> it's way too much tractor for what we need. <laughs> no, it'd be pretty funny just be going out there like single single plow, like quad track 600. Like, <laughs> you're going out there with the brush hog and like, yeah. along, like the <laughs> road I'm gonna, there. I'm brush hog with a freaking 600 horsepower tractor. <laughs> you wouldn't get stuck. Brush hog the road ditch with a 600 horsepower tractor. Yeah, let's get right on that tree. <laughs> No, and then then you get like some special mounts on the front of it. Yeah, and for, uh, for what? put a front loader on it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that wouldn't look dumb. That, at that all. wouldn't look strange at all. <laughs> oh man, no, I mean, no. See him driving down the road, <laughs> front and loader the on a quad track with a bright brush hog. <laughs> the nine nine five is the perfect tractor for us. It's got about sixty five horsepower. It is only two wheel drive. Uh, the f tires are filled with the calcium fluid, so it, it has weight. Um, it's all the tractor we need, guys. It's, that's really what it comes down to. We just don't need anything bigger. If we were real farming, sure, I'd have a quad track if I could afford it. But since we're not, like, real farming or anything, it's fine for what we do. It'd be cool if you could, like, just be, like, walking the case dealer one day be like, can I just borrow a quad track you know, for this video tree what i this fall i'm not going to guarantee but i'm betting i can get some drone footage of a, of a quad track out working uh my neighbors zach's cousins mm -hmm. they have a quad track so okay. can can they brush up can they brush off the road ditch <laughs> Just one pass. <laughs> that would be a funny video. That would be. You got big old quad track and then like a little six foot brush hog behind it. Now if you had like a 20 foot brush hog, man. No, just like my brush hog, a little three point hitch mount brush hog. The yeah. brush hog that I own, or you know, my dad owns, behind a quad track. That would be the funniest damn thing. <laughs> Definitely get a lot of views. Oh. <laughs> How not to Man farm. out in Missouri <laughs> used a 600 horsepower quad track to mow the highway ditch. Now Back, I will say, um, we need you to get a hold of your cousins there. Yeah, I'm we need to set this up. Zach, if you hear this, buddy, let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna back in the shed to get the quad track out. Oh wait, the quad track won't fit in the shed. Um, <laughs> better get the other tractor um, out to get it out of the shed. <laughs> Yeah, quad track won't fit in the shed where we have the, the more. There's no way. No way. <laughs> Grandpa's little combine barely fit in that shed, and quad tracks are huge compared to that nowadays. So you get a white blow up in. <laughs> nah, we just go in there with the 995, drag it outside. I don't even know if they're quad track, because, you know, some quad tracks. It depends when you buy them. You can get them with PTOs or without PTOs. Power takeoff shafts. Yeah. 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 That's the point. A lot of quad tracks are, are built just for like earth moving companies, and they don't need PTOs. Uh, theirs has one because I know they've hooked their grain cart to it before. So I know for a fact that theirs has one. And then the other thing would be three point hitch. Um, not all of your quad tracks would actually have. A, uh, a three-point hitch. Because if you're just pulling you really, a, a dirt bucket, you don't need a three-point hitch. Do you really need a three-point hitch, though? 
I mean, that's how you hook up to the brush hog, yes. Uh, that's the three point hitch mount. Yeah, but I think any farm use one yeah. would have three point in. Now, it just depends where they bought this thing, because they may have purchased it from, like, a, you know, construction company. I don't know where they bought it from, so. I think it's funny when we talk about this and Zach isn't even here. I know. <laughs> Zach's not here. He's going to watch this pack and be like, what the hell? John. <laughs> Oh, Zach, if it's category two, buddy, which is probably cat three, because it's so big. But if it's cat what? two, we're hooking that bad boy up to the brush. We would probably smoke the brush hog when we engage the PTO. <laughs> Since you're giving no. 600, or actually, their, their quad track's a baby. It's a baby quad track. It's only thir uh, 435. It's a baby. You know, you, you, you could just get a uh, sticker, say, just put 600. <laughs> Yeah, go call up the case totally. dealer. Can I get yeah. the, the decals for the Quad Jack 600, please? <laughs> Slap them on there. Oh, no, what? That would I, be I don't think that would work. No. no. That would be hilarious, though. Like, that slip clutch, man, it would just annihilate it, probably. <laughs> I don't nope. see why it would. I see. <laughs> it, as long as you're not, you know, full RPM and then you True. bang it in. Sure. Now, uh, I will say that that mower doesn't have a shear pin or shear bolt. It has slip clutch, so it should actually be okay. Now that I think about it. Yeah, because it would just make the clutch slip. That's what it's made, meant to do. You can put a, you know, thousand horsepower motor attached to that thing. Yeah. And it didn't uh, affect it any. That's true. That is true. So. Back to actual farming. <laughs> Got a nice uh, case, 380 Magnum single wheel, Ooh. Uh, laying a uh, Porsche nine meter grain seeder, selling wheat in a uh, field 29. I think that is. Wait, what are you playing? 35. What are you playing, Trey? I'm watching the stream. Oh, you're watching. You're it, describing exactly what I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> uh, yeah, you can join, but the game is full. Uh, I don't open my games up very often, but it's open right now. So, pay attention. If somebody drops out, feel free to join. Name of the game and the password are both just my name, John. We are on Xbox One, and you need the Gold Edition since we are. Oh, I'm getting sick of this camera. Full camera. Looking at. So I'm trying to back up, uh -oh. and because I'm right at the dump point, uh, it's like throwing the camera all over the place. That is definitely something they can improve on 17, is the camera. I, th I think there's a, uh, something called the no collision camera on. Yeah, that's no if we're on PC, bud. <laughs> no, yeah, good point. <laughs> Last wow. time I checked. Shows, shows how often I play the console. Last time I checked. Look, we're on the Xbox. Uh, that's Is everything harvested now? Uh, guessing. I assume so. Both of the combines are here. Yep, everything's harvested. Everything is out. Uh, if you want to start selling Starms, or actually, probably fast time to the next hour and start selling. Or if you want somebody else to do it. Either way. Will it be good? I guess I should fast time for the next to the next hour for you, huh? You want the total? Uh, yeah, how much we up to? Alright, hold on, let me dump this last bit in there. Roger that. Roger that. Yeah, Tree, I've heard of that mod. I've never actually messed with it, the no collision camera mod. Four hundred and eighty-six thousand four hundred and thirteen. Nice. Nice. Well, we're going to make some good money off that, aren't we? Yes, we should. Yes, we should. Green elevator and the bakery are the same price. If uh, only you could make drywall in this version. How much mill, lower right? is the mill? Uh, $500. Send it to the mill because the mill has a train. Oh, wait, you said freight yard? Freight yard has a train as well. No, Same. it's not freight yard, the uh, rain elevator. Okay, send it to the mill. Um, 
the mill has the train. And even though it's a lower price, you'll we'll come out way ahead. And uh, we stopped the past time. Because we are to the next hour. Yeah, 20 minutes past. Hey, yeah, uh, 21. Shout out to Steffi. I did it on purpose, I swear. <laughs> right. And somehow I don't think you believe me. No. Darn it. I need I need some yes men in my life. That's what I need. <laughs> Wait, I'm not. No. If, there, if you want to sell, uh, beer boy, go ahead. I jumped out. I can go back to shooting zombies in the face. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Planner, sir. How can I be assistance? <laughs> now, see what happens, and, and I'm a. It's never gonna happen to me because I wouldn't let it. But b, I'm not gonna be like like that. But a lot of people, when they become like successful, and and they just get people around them that no matter what, they just say yes. It doesn't matter what that person wants or whatever. They just say yes. I don't know what just. Happen, but okay. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you need to plow this, don't we? Do I have plow? Yeah, that, that's, what I, that's what I was gonna ask for. You know what? We don't have any money for a plow, but yeah. as soon as we run that first load in, I'm gonna go ahead and plow it. So, um, make sure you take it to the mill. Yep, we're going to the mill, guys. To the mill, definitely. And then we'll send the train after we're done. So, I'm gonna go ahead and run in and uh, I'll buy a plow when we can, and then we'll plow it all together. So we'll get some plowing time since Primo Plow Boy. So, Johnny, you gonna get like the uh, Perlimin out and put the one, like, three meter uh, plow on? No. Where are we going with that combine, bro? <laughs> yeah. Whoever has an open microphone in the game, can you please mute it? I wonder if it's a connect. I bet it's a connect. I can hear myself talking occasionally. It's real faint, but it is there. If you would please mute it, I would greatly appreciate that. Alright. So we need to park up our seat or somewhere. And, uh, this works. This works. Alright. To the mill. Seems like you operate the exact opposite that you do in real life in this game. What do you mean, Tree? with washing equipment. Like, in real life, like, you guys take care of your equipment and play in this game. So. Wait, who's selling Storms? I'm guessing Deer Boy. Deer Boy, where are you? Where, where, which one are you, Deer Boy? Just, just say he's leaving if someone wants to jump. Okay, because the thing is, uh, sitting there empty. So somebody grab it. I don't care who it is. I'll grab that guy. Let's get her going. Uh, I'll hold off and shooting Dobby's heads. Okay. Load. Tree, you're saying that I'm different in farm sim than I am in real life? No, 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 no. No, I'm saying, like, you've showed us videos of, like, how to, like, clean off your stuff. In real life, like, take care of your equipment. Okay. And I'm saying, like, we just don't really wash stuff in this game. I mean, do you want me to go wash my tractor? No. <laughs> what have I showed you videos of cleaning at my farm? Like, take, like, the rhino. Like, just taking care of equipment, like the steel brush. Steel. Like, after, like... Oh, the, I the, don't know. the the dozer blade. Yeah, and then, like, just, oh, like, taking a steel brush and, like, some water or a brush. Uh, that is called a wire like... brush, sir. And oh. we definitely do not put water on it. It's oil. Oh. Super ungodly thick oil that we found in the loft of our shed that has been sitting there forever and ever and ever. <laughs> that is what we put on it once a year because we only use the thing once a year. Get the blue gloves. That oil is nasty, man. You get that stuff on you, it does not come off. Mm -hmm. Don't be knocking my blue gloves, boy. I'm That's sure... Texas line. <laughs> boy. No, his line is, be safe. <laughs> um, I'm sure this winter, when uh, 
I'm doing oil changes and all that crap again. I'll be wearing my blue gloves the whole time. Don't worry. Uh, Potato, if you want, I just jumped out of the truck. We're taking it to the mill. Yes, to the mill. Definitely to the mill. Um, and actually a tree for when I'm trying to film and do like dirty things. That sounds yeah. wrong. When I'm trying to film and I'm messing with like oil and stuff, having yeah. the blue gloves on makes so much sense because if I need to do anything on the camera, boom, I pop, take them off. I pop my glove off and yeah. I'm good to go. And then I can just get a new one. We get them oh. from Harbor Freight. They're ungodly cheap. You okay with that? You climb the power tower? Yeah. The high tension lines? Yes, you can. Wow, Steph. <laughs> so, I don't think this parking lot's very legit, guys. I, I really don't. Like, if there's something parked right there, you can barely back out. These are one-way aisles, clearly. I just don't think this parking lot's too legit. Take out one row parking, then it might be all right. So. Well, that parking lot on the end is just a little bit tight, but. All right, how many millions of dollars are we going to make? Uh, that dollars. one one load was seventy thousand. So um, incoming purchase, incoming purchase. I'm just gonna go with the the Lumpkin. Hey, we're poor again, guys. <laughs> oh, did you guys notice the coolest part on uh, the Farm Sim 17 video today? What was that? The part that Thanks. I highlighted extra and like went back and forth and back and forth with the video. Oh, the sheep. Sheep. No, not the sheep. I don't care about the sheep. What? I mean, the sheep are cool, but no. What? The coolest Batting part. Chicken. I wish. The single coolest part is that the beacons actually shine on stuff now. Oh, that one. Yeah. So, uh -huh. yeah, uh huh. It's gonna be a, uh, a disco at night on our servers and games and stuff. I have a feeling. So. Can't wait for that. Can't wait. Should be a lot of fun, actually. So, guys, keep. Uh, let's see. What is, else is there to do? All the planting's done. I'm assuming fertilizer's either maybe done, hopefully. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it's getting done. Uh, if it's not. Do you guys have the spray on this or no? Uh, we are running the Tobyhine pellets. Oh. No. So behind pellet, yeah. We could buy. We do have the. Do you have the big in-game one? Uh, what big in-game one? Uh, spare. Yeah, we do actually. Yeah. You have the Pantera on the console? Yep. Sure oh, do. Forgot about that. We sure do. We... Forty-one meter working with. Yeah. It's just like the modded one that we uh, are using on Sherwood. Yeah. It's, it's the same as that, basically. Mm -hmm. Boy, I sure wish I had some GPS about now. <laughs> uh, got some plowing times to go. Plowing times, here we go. We need to set our... Allow create new field first, which I think is that button. No, it's not that button, it's this button. Here we go. Alrighty. If my edges don't quite... Oh, that's terrible. If they don't quite line up, it's okay. Just as long as they are um, somewhat close-ish. Pretty much. Close-ish. It should be good. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? We need to slow ourselves down. We do this right. We set our GPS just right. We can actually... Or not GPS. GPS. I, I meant to say cruise control. Mm. Um, if we set our cruise control just right so we don't like take off when we pull the plow out of the ground, it just makes everything um, a lot easier for us. So that is what we have going now. Now we just simply go back and forth. I said we'll turn this way. We'll go do Enros over here. Farm some I've never heard of anyone having problems connecting to what Team Street website. To uh, the Teams must, website? No. Must be on your end. Or maybe it's just down, I don't know. Uh, the actual TeamSpeak website to download TeamSpeak? Um, I mean, I guess it could be down. Well. 
I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Alright, we are officially plowing. This is good. And I'm not even going to say anything about Steffi plowing, okay? We're not going to go there, guys. We're going to be better than that. Well, I mean, you would have just uh, not brought it up in the first <laughs> I know. The only reason I brought it up is because it, it, that whole, like, infamous, infamous Steffi plowing episode that happened here on SoSnuff, because she was doing this exact same thing, I do believe. And, wow. uh, yeah. So, actually, yeah. whoever has uh, fertilizer, feel free to come over here and start fertilizing uh, these spots as we're going as we're going. But hey, Steffi can plow. She definitely can. I'm not saying she can't, so she definitely can. Wow. She actually did a really good job for us over on uh, Michigan that time. Remember that? Yep. Um, yeah, she yeah. did a really good job over there. So, it's been a while since I've done some plowing. Uh, apparently on 17, we're actually going to have to plow every so many harvest or something. I'm pretty sure you can turn that off if you want. Wow, uh, we're leaving that on. We do that. Do what, Trey? I said we had a feeling you would have it like put it one or something like that. You know, for like if you got a server, yeah. you know, like open. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll definitely have that on. That sounds like fun. And besides, it won't be long when people will start modding you know, giant disc that lay down a plaid texture like yeah, the disc well, ripper that we use or whatever, you know. I was looking on the website and I think they already have stuff up about how to convert your mods over to 17. That wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all. So, we'll leave that to the people that are much smarter than uh, we are when it comes to mods. Like Stevie. Well, exactly. Like Mr. Stevie, which we'll be playing on one of his maps tomorrow. Sherwood Park Farms. Sure everybody comes out for that. That will be a good time. It will be a good time. Cannot wait. And we'll probably, guys, I'm gonna... I got some stuff I have to do tomorrow. I gotta talk to Blue Devil, actually, about recording with him. I've been putting him off for days because I've been so busy, but I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow, maybe, before I stream. Um... But we'll definitely make the 7 p.m. time and we will, or 6 p.m. time, and we will uh, almost guarantee we'll, we'll go early. So uh, make sure everybody just uh, tunes in for that. I, I don't think we're going to play any Deadliest Catch on Stop Gamer. Deadliest Catch? Probably. Iron Man, thank you for the follow. Probably not. Iron Man, thanks for the follow. Do appreciate it. Welcome to the flock. I don't know what time I'll be able to join them. Okay. My brother should be moving out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Cool, They're cool. planning for tomorrow. They make it push till Sunday, so yeah, there's a good, there's a better than average chance I'll be late. Oh, but it's when I can, good. I'll be here. It's all good. It is all good. But yeah, we'll try to get cranking up uh, as early as possible tomorrow. I like going just as soon as I'm available. Like getting on and doing a long stream for you guys, because why not, right? Yep. So. I. That sunset picture, though. Of Steffi's? Yep. Yeah, it was a good one. I I like that other post that somebody posted. Wait, what did somebody post? Uh, you'd have to see it. Who posted it? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Uh oh, now you have me concerned. Is it somebody that I follow? Uh, probably. Okay. It wasn't me. It wasn't the whole where Cletus, he's... Oh god, that's so gross. Oh, no. Anything but Cletus, please. Wait. Is it is it a certain blonde chick tree? No. <laughs> Not at all. No. It is. <laughs> Nope. I don't actually follow her. 
I was talking about someone in the team speak, but okay. Somebody in team speak? Is yeah. it Benedict? Yeah. Which one? The butter sculpture? Uh, no, the most recent one. Oh, okay, it's a shirt, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you read what the shirt said? Yes, it is amusing. Oh, yeah. Oh, need to pay attention. Anthony N, welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you? Thanks for coming out. Just in time for some plowing times with Primo Plowboy. Let's do it. And actually, guys, I need to take a screenshot of this because, you know, we got that hashtag thumbnail. <laughs> Just saying. Hi, hey, Grunt. Wait, Grant, you live in Florida, right? How's the uh, power situation down there? I believe Grant does live in Florida. Wait, that would be Slasher Grant. Yeah. Okay. No. It's not, not. I think there's yeah, two different Grunt. Grants, isn't there? I'm not sure. Slashy Grant lives in Florida, yeah, but I haven't seen him in around, around for a while. I think he's in chat. Is he? Yeah, he, Slashy Grunt's in chat. Oh, he is. He's right there. I should pay attention once in a while. Slashy Grunt, how's it going, buddy? Anthony I'm guessing. Thanks for the host as well, sir. I'm guessing he fared pretty well, considering he's here. Uh, potentially, yeah. Potentially. He could be in, like, you know, South Florida or up in the, the panhandle farther that didn't really get anything. Yeah. So, there's a Benedict. We weren't talking about you. Yeah, we were. Shush. No, we weren't. I was. I, think I don't my, like you. I was talking all the trash. I think my plow was drunk right there. Did you guys see that? A little, a little cray. Just a little Definitely crazy. drunk. Are we done selling yet, guys? Are we done selling uh, yet? I don't know. I would say not since he's on his way down there right now. Okay, never mind. Uh, just remember after you sign Dollars. Do what? Still, uh, a thousand liters. Okay. After you send, or after you sell the last little bit, make sure you send the train after that. Yeah, I'm staying here to send the train once he's done. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think my plow's I'm guessing you guys are going to plant the pencil cup more fast, I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Switch to the side. I'm pretty sure my plow's drunk over there. I, I swear, blame it on the plow, right? It may just be the layout of the land. I think that's what it is, to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So. So I did a first uh, today, or the other day, but I edited it today. A one take on the farm video. It's one flight with the drone, and that's it. Still really cool, though. Very, very cool. So, y'all need to tune in Sunday for that one. And stuff, right? I miss, miss not misc, I miss my descriptor right now. Just saying. Uh, this whole thing needs to be fertilized. This whole field. So if you just want to like start and uh, do what you can, feel free. Feel free. All right, so that's two down. Eighty-five more to go. So, true. How is everyone's weather right now? That's my question. <laughs> you know, I just asked that question in the sub back to Westbridge the other day. I was like, so what is your current temperature? Man, there were a lot of comments with temperatures. Yeah. It was pretty awesome, not gonna lie. So, currently here, I don't know what it is. It was nice today, though, when I was cutting my grass. It sure was nice out there. So, uh, it is currently 71 degrees outside. God, I wish I was outside right now. <laughs> That is nice. 
Currently 71 degrees, fair skies. It's, it's great. It is just great. So 71 sure is nice. It's cooler outside than it is in the house then. Yeah, we had a uh, red sky last night. Yeah. And this morning. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. No. What's the legend of the red sky? I forget. Uh, red sky at night, sailors to light. Red sky, sky in the morning, morning, sailors to take morning. morning. So it's delight and then take warning? Since you had See. it at night and in the morning? So that just sounds like a Michigan. Uh, Wait five minutes. You'll like the weather. You know, we make that same joke about Missouri, right? Oh, I'm sure a lot of places do. Oh, I'm sure everybody does, yeah. That's kind of funny, though. Kind of amusing. Yeah, we gotta go cut grass tomorrow. That'll be fun. Haven't cut that one yard in like a week and a half. Whoopsie. <laughs> I yeah, I kind of cut my lawn today thinking that it would rain in the next few days. Yeah, not so much, huh? I don't think it's gonna rain now. You're not gonna get any of that tropical, huh? I mean, it looks like cloudy the next four days. Well... It's it basically is. just like... Like... Shore, right? Pretty much. Have to get your sprinkler going there, tree. No. I, my grass isn't brown that day this year, so it should be fine. You know what I actually did today to my grass tree? My, pretty what? much my whole yard today. I sprayed for weeds today. Nice. Because it's actually the right temperature for once. So it's kind of like bonus weed spraying times here right now. To be honest. So, yeah, I, I actually sprayed weeds today. I don't have too many in my, especially my front yard, but backyard's a different story. I never really cared about my backyard until very recently, so. Yeah, good times though, good times. I care about my entire yard. Alright, now are we done selling or he still has more? He's still at 100,000, is that what it was? You're at 250, down to 191. Wait, what? Oh wow! You can he, only haul like fifty thousand at a time, chief. He needs he needs to step up his game, bro. Our hour's gonna run out. <laughs> well, you're the one. I who, don't know uh, what you're talking about. <laughs> step it up, man. Put the pedal down to the metal. Let's go. <laughs> we got some selling to do. We have an auger wagon or anything we could run more loads with. Anything tippers? <laughs> yeah, we got auger wagon. Yeah, I guess get it turned into get somebody in it. There's plenty of you guys. Uh, I know there's really not much to do right now, so somebody grab a. I don't know if they'll have a tractor for that or not. No, we don't. Turned. How about you, care? How was your uh, walk? I went to Walmart. Oh, okay. Well, Buy things before my trip tomorrow. <laughs> how was your walk at Walmart then? In Walmart. Uh, I walked back and forth for a few things, and then I stood in line for uh, 25 minutes. Oh, uh, a typical trip to Walmart, huh? I mean, they have the, an infinite amount of people stocking shelves. Yeah. But God forbid they have more than two people running registers. I know, right? I and then this guy in front of me trying to buy straight talk cards, and none of them would slide in their computer thing. Oh, God. He's like... You know, to whoever he's with, can you go get me, you know, different ones? Uh, and she was riding in like a half dead uh, <laughs> electric scooter that Walmart provides. Yeah. So it was like barely moving, and I'm like, oh my god. You're like, I'll just go get you them. <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't go to the service desk because the person up there I'm related to. Oh, and they can't check you out? They can't check, they can't, it's like. Yeah. <sighs> Yep. Wasn't it a use can? Yeah, but the line with that, for that was longer than 
any of the other lines, and it's a bunch of old people using it, so like... They don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, and you never see that target. I know someone that works at Target. He's a cart pusher. Yeah. He knows how to run a register. <laughs> oh, everybody like, does, yeah. Like, like, at Target, anyone that works at Target knows how to run a register. Because yeah. they, as soon as they see a line starting, they open another register. Like, <laughs> get it together, Walmart. Yeah. I will say that's the worst part of Walmart. I like Walmart. I'm a Walmart kind of guy. I hate Target, to be honest. But I'm a Walmart guy, and I, it drives me crazy sometimes. You know, Dad and I will go there after going to the farm, and we'll be, you know, it'll be 8, 9 o'clock at night, and we'll have to stand in line for 20 minutes. Come on. So, and then there's, like, you know, the head checker or whatever, but they can't run a register, so they just, like, stand there and watch. Death and to like, Walmart. Oh. <laughs> it's so annoying sometimes in there. And, yeah, they have the self-checker, but that's, like, a zoo in there. So, it's really bad. It's Sounds really like it's really bad. We never had that problem. Yeah, it's I mean, I sometimes. guess we just go on all hours. And I need, like, Gatorade and maybe some snacks and a couple other things. And it's like, I have, like, five or six things. I sh it should take me ten minutes max. Yeah. Yeah, and then if they have, like, a, what is it, the 10 or less items or 20 or less or whatever, there's somebody in there with a cart with, like, 100 things, and it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to just go get a machete. And well, get those it. are only open during the day now since they've got the self-checkouts. Oh, God. See, I'd rather have, to me anyway, I'd rather go to, and I don't go to self-checkouts. I'd much rather go to a person than a self-checker. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. I probably am. But yeah, I'd much rather go to an actual person. Except for well, this one. The, the, the checkout line next to us. Yeah. It's this one woman, if I go shopping with my mom, I'm like, no, we are not cashing out in this aisle. The, 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 yep. Because the lady will say, I know I'm slow. I don't care. <laughs> like, to your face, she'll say that. And it's like, well... Wait, is she related uh, to Blue Devil? Because that sounds like something he would say. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> He'd be like, he would say, I know I'm slow, deal with it. Boo, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's blue double in a nutshell. But yeah, I just there there is one lady in our Walmart. I just you know, she stands there and looks at all these items like she's never seen them before. <laughs> and it's like, lady, you work at Walmart, you're a checker at Walmart. You've seen these items before. And it's nothing. I don't un know. It's nothing uncommon. It's like a loaf of bread. There's like this one kid, teenager, because you know they have to put out the sign saying that you know due to age restrictions, blah blah blah, you cannot buy alcohol or whatever. Oh really? I've never seen one of those. He'll he'll push through lines like nothing. Yeah. Like crazy fast. It's yeah. It it's just crazy sometimes though. How slow they can be. How slow they can be, so... It's... Like, you see these commercials for Walmart, they're like, we're trying to improve our, like, customer satisfaction, we're trying to train our employees better Just hire by giving checkers. them, like, college education, and it's like, okay. Yeah. It's great, but, like... So... You, ha you always have, like, tons of evil stock in your shelves. It's like, if, if there's a problem at the register, go up there, it's like... My my brother used to be a Walmart store manager, and guess what? If they were busy, guess who was the first person to jump on a checker, or a cashier, or a, the register? Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> he would jump on the register and check people out as long as it, you know, he had to. All right, I'll be right back. All right, sorry. You just don't see that anymore, like these days. The managers just don't care. Um, the manager here got um removed <laughs> oh yeah and new person came in and yeah he's always you know out talking to people in the store and to... you'll see him at a register every once in a while yeah. they're usually the like assistant manager or one of those other people that are not higher up you know they'll jump in and help out if they need to yeah so i mean it's just it's just crazy and then you know he's a manager for another place now big big box place and uh same thing. Dude, they need it. He's there. Like, 
and that's what they don't like teach you anymore. They just don't. They don't care. They just don't care. So doesn't make any sense. Yep. Customer satisfaction. It's overrated. Drink. I thought I thought the customer was always right. Oh God, the customer is wrong. Always a hundred percent wrong, right, Baker? Yep. <laughs> always wrong. Every single time, guys. I'm almost done plowing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I've been plowing for like four score and seven years ago. Imagine how uh, short this would be if you had the uh, book extending uh, John Deere disc ripper. Yeah, the disc ripper uh, would be done by now. Long time ago. It'd be amazing. Good old PC, am I right? But you know, I do enjoy playing on the console from time to time. Uh, the console is going to have more of a presence here on Friday nights, by the way, too. So, as far as farming, so we will definitely be playing more farms than on Friday nights here on Twitch. Cause y'all seem to like it since y'all are here watching. So appreciate it, yeah, Sean. We need to be dunzies here in a minute with this chunk. So, if you guys wouldn't mind getting the buy YouTube's rolling. And we will fire up the next chunk to record here in a minute. So let's get Being it rolling. In the 70s the next three days? 70s. Wow. God, that's cold. 74. 59 Saturday night. Man, it's going to start turning trees, dude. It's going to get on the 50s every night this week. Wow. Going to have to turn on the heat or something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. And then the uh, 80s and the 90s next weekend, 95. It's like wow. Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna Who be like the grass. 80s all week. It's great. It's like you try and prepare to like go into fall with like think about putting down like fall stuff, you know? Yeah. Around this time, like you know, cause it is September technically. You could. It is September. Down, like, yes. Fall like uh. Yeah. So like Winter Guard. Okay. And uh. I was thinking about it today to like see how my lawn's doing sort of thing. Yeah. I kinda wanna wait like the first like freeze. But then that'd be way too long, sort of thing. I uh was actually just to see at... like Uh huh. Go ahead. I was looking at my yard today, I'm like, I need to seed this bad boy real soon here. Like just um, to see like our need seeding, like I have an idea, but like if there are other spots, you know, like it's yeah. not doing so well sort of thing. The low for tonight is 49 degrees. Oh my god. Wow. That's like frigid. All right. It's 60 right now. <laughs> YouTube, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll catch you later. Toodles.